Cha Ganju. Welcome to a part of Japan that not many people visit. Welcome to Okinawa. Ah, uh, ato de, but uh, ba baso de, uh, madori mas. Okay, arigato. And there goes the taxi that brought me here. This village, deep in the Okinawan countryside, where I have not seen a single person. I mean, I see a truck over there, but not a person. I hope I don't regret telling him that I'm just gonna take a bus back because uh, I have no idea where to get a bus from here. I just wanted to go somewhere rural. Get like a really good feel. Okinawa. If people know Okinawa at all, it's because Okinawa hosts the majority of the U.S. military bases in Japan. The U.S. military presence is huge here. But here in the countryside, and in fact, in most of the island, you would never know. You won't see them. We have a little shop. Doesn't seem to be open. Da bao gong tong uke. I'm not gonna lie, like my Japanese is not that good. But I am decent at Mandarin. And what's funny is, like if you know Mandarin, you can read these characters. By read, I mean you can understand the meaning of them. So I understand this shop to be like a collective, <laughs> a collective selling point. So like a, uh, I don't know, like a co-op, something like that. Seems like nobody's here. You can see how somebody has just left their lighter here, some lemons. Zero fear about crime whatsoever. As if Japan wasn't safe enough already, now we're out in the countryside. Here you have like a little map of the entire island of Okinawa. Uh, this says apparently Taiho Damu. So it's talking about like this dam that they built. It's talking about how it's providing drinking water, all the benefits. Uh, we're currently up here in Okinawa. Most people that come here, if they visit, they'll arrive down here in Naha City. We'll go there later. But yeah, way out in the countryside. You know, I'm not sure what order I'm posting these videos in, but this is probably the first time you're walking with me in the Japanese countryside. And this is pretty par for the course. A lot of Japan looks like this. Not a person in sight. And very abandoned looking. I mean, this was clearly used recently. So I'm sure there's somebody living here. And I remember almost exactly a year ago when I was in Argentina and I took my little trip out to the countryside, I remarked, this feels so empty compared to Africa. But man, even Argentina, even the Argentinian countryside feels very lively compared to this. This is true solitude. はい、はい。はい、はい。Poor lady, lost her hearing. Couldn't understand me in any language. She's the only person I found in this village. Bye-bye. 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 B
大気味。大気味。Okay. 私は田舎を探検しています。あ、そうなんですね。はいはい、<笑>ここのえ人々はどのくらい？ああ、でも自分たちも今おばあちゃんちに来てる。あ、おばあちゃんは。ばあちゃんここに住んでます。オーケー、ありがとうございます。すバイバイ、ニヒデブル。<笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> Maybe that's the family of the old bassan that I saw before, the old lady. ないで、グミを。Ah, so proud of my progress in Japanese. This says, don't throw any garbage in here. Because, look at this little waterfall. Who would think of throwing garbage in a waterfall like this? Yeah. Love the traditional ceramic. Roofing that you could find out here in the villages. One of my only complaints about Japan so far is the urban planning in the cities is not the nicest. I can't say they're the nicest looking cities I've ever seen. And they took down a lot of the more traditional looking buildings. But you can still find them out here in the countryside. Just walked right in here. There's a big Collection of books. What's this? The Hitomi Project. What time is it? Three o'clock. Still open for one more hour. Let's see what this is. s u g a s e n s u g a s e n s u g a s e n あ、こんにちは。チャーガンジュ。チャーガンジュ。はい。はい。いや、いや、外人です。チャーガンジュ。え、ガンジュ。え、これこれは何ですか。えっとリサイクルショップみたいなの。あ、リサイクルショップ。うん。オッケー。そう。そう、エニエニバリブリンダオンいうの。断捨離うんリサイクル。How many people live in this town? At the, <coughs> the family, the house, 35. 35. A 35 families?、Uh, family. Wow.、Mm. It's a small town. Yeah, very small. She's like much. It's a Taiho. They're、yeah. called Taiho. Oh, Taiho.、Mm. Can I see? Yeah. You live in this area? Ogimi? Ah.、Uh, <laughs> no, I came from Naha. Naha? Yeah. <laughs>、uh, I'm the. Kyo wa. I'm a tank and I'm a tank. I'm a tank. I'm staying in Naha. Yeah.、Oh. For a few, day, few days. Maybe I could buy something. What do you think? Something Okinawan stuff? Or maybe the sake bean. Sake bean? What I get? ああ。
I put it on my hands. How does it work? This this uh good luck charm kuruma no. Yeah. Oh kuruma ni. Ni kuru kakete. Oh, okay. いくらですかいや、あげます。あげます。これ、ポリーであげます。ああ、なるほど。記念に。そう。ガールフレンドにあげて。ガールフレンドにあげて。ガールフレンドね。あ、あなたの名前はひとみ、ひとみ。ひと
Well, into the tunnel we go. Thankfully, I don't see any meth addicts or uh, anyone waiting to stab me in here. Coming out of the tunnel, we walk right up on a field of uh, something. Don't know what that is. Just know this is beautiful. I'm really enjoying this walk. Okay, so what he told me was saying is that to get to where the buses are, that's actually back near the coast of Okinawa Island. And I really want to get there within like an hour and a half, because that's when the sun's going to go down. Not going to be as much fun to film them at night. Although I do have a plan for that. But uh, before that, I just found this little thing here. Clearly I'm not supposed to walk over this. And I really, really hate to break some rules in Japan. I gotta see what's over there though. Let's go. I mean, I'm a little bit worried because sometimes they put those things up to like let you know there might be like bears or something. But it's Okinawa. I don't think there's any bears here. It's too hot. What is that, squash? I'm not going to steal this man's squash, but I will admire it. And I'll also admire his fields. Now, if you couldn't already tell from my accent, especially when I'm exaggerating it, I'm from New York. And generally speaking, I prefer being in a city, like a huge city, being surrounded by lots of different people and events and stuff. But I have this absolute need, as I think we all do, to get out to the countryside sometimes, experience nature, and realize, in the grand scheme of things, we're all kind of insignificant. Just enjoy the nature, enjoy the ride, while it lasts. Sorry, that was a bit deep. But anyway, just enjoy life, is what I'm trying to say. Looks like a little, looks like another uh, tiny little village down here. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. oh man. Just got caught in the biggest spiderweb ride ever. Just walked into a giant spiderweb trying to walk down these stairs. Listen, I don't mess with wildlife, okay? Can't deal with that. It's still there. Oh God. Look at what I just avoided. That could have been the death of old Tommy here. Okay. Jesus. Any more? Any more tropical spiders on these stairs? Oh god. Oh my god, I see a huge one. A huge spider web. Jesus. Oh, god. We gotta get through here. I don't know why I'm whispering. I don't think spiders speak English. Alright. Three, two, one. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, god. Listen, even as a Yakuza in training, that's some scary stuff, right? We're gonna have to go back up. I don't think there's any other way back to the road. All over Okinawa, you'll see this symbol, the Shisa. It's said to come from Chinese mythology, which may sound weird, being that we're in Japan. But the people here in Okinawa 
are the real Kyo people. And interestingly, they have a very distinct identity. So distinct that many Okinawan people, many Ryukyu people, think that Okinawa should have been an independent country. It's a bit like the sentiment of Native Hawaiians. You know, they're part of the country, but uh, the way it became part of the country is yeah, maybe a little bit questionable. どちらですか国は。ああ、フランス。フランス。フランスは、写真で。はい、はい。沖縄人ですかうん。オッケー。ジャパニーズ。ジャパニーズ。岩手から。ああ。ああ、オッケー。本州本州オッケー。岩手。
Where we are right now is very close to the Kadena Air Base, as well as several other American military bases. So there's many Marines and other military personnel in this area, plus all the contractors and people that work here to support the military. Hey, look at this. Feels like an American suburb. Even got Japanese people here taking photos. I really don't understand why out of all the American restaurants, <laughs> this is the one that I'm looking at right now. Red Lobster. Red Lobster has to be one of the worst chains in the US. I mean, the rolls are good, but come on. That's the best you can do. Not a word of Japanese on the sign. Purely targeted at Americans. Enjoy your free advertisement, Red Lobster. It really feels like they designed the streets to look like Los Angeles or something like that. I haven't seen any area in Japan that looks like this. I don't know if it's because of like the Christmas lights, but this area feels so gaudy, you know? Feels like, I mean, look at this building coming up over here. Got a steakhouse and a pizza place. They're not going to get me that easily, no. So this area, Shatan, is actually the most expensive part of Okinawa. It has the most expensive property, most expensive rentals. Everything costs a little bit more money. This is because of the influx of American military cash coming in here. What happens when you have 18 to 21 year olds who have never had a paycheck in their life, all of a sudden they have a ton of money, they go out and spend it. Places like this sprung up to take advantage of the opportunity. I'd really like to chat with some of the American military that I'm seeing here on the street. There are a lot of them walking around, but I've tried a couple of times and they really don't want to be on camera. I'm not even sure if they're allowed to be on camera, to be honest. You know, the military has all kinds of weird rules in regards to talking with civilians like myself. These look pretty good. I've heard good things about this place. It looks very authentically Mexican. Which I guess is a very American, but whatever. It's Taco Tuesday. Ohio. Welcome to another day in Okinawa. And we are now in the city of Naha. The biggest and I think only city on the island. Unfortunately, as you may see in the sky behind me, the weather is a lot worse today. It's cloudy. It's just a little bit chillier. It's windy. And there's a very good chance it's going to start raining at any moment now. In fact, I think I feel it already. Thankfully, in Naha, there's a bunch of different memorials and monuments dedicated to World War II. And there's a really interesting one. There's these tunnels that the Japanese dug during the war in order to fight the Americans thinking about going and checking that one out. I know. Look at this guy. Look at the American trying to go to the World War II monument. But hey, at least we'll be safe from the rain. Girls Bar. That's actually what it says in Japanese too. Garu's Bar. Don't know what that means exactly. Is that like ladies night out or uh, hookers and stuff? Who knows? Okay, so in most of Japan, in the major cities, you have a metro system, a subway. Here in Naha, you have a monorail. You take a ticket, you present it, scans the QR code, and you walk right through. So by the way, I know some of you are annoyed that I'm not wearing the mask more often. I know some of you are annoyed that I'm wearing the mask at all, which is kind of weird. But, uh... <laughs> If you haven't noticed, Japanese people are still wearing masks everywhere. And if I'm being completely honest, I find a lot of it a little bit unnecessary. Even the Japanese government has said you don't need to wear a mask outdoors, which just makes sense. Ooh, Dr. Pepper, I haven't seen that in a while. On the other hand, 
the Japanese, unlike other countries, actually do have a history of wearing masks whenever they're sick. And so the mentality is just very firmly ingrained. It's hard to change. I don't know when they'll stop wearing masks, but, you know, whatever. I've made a compromise. When I'm riding the metro, or I'm in like a very crowded indoor space, I'll put the mask on, okay? Not a big deal. I'm not being mind controlled. Don't worry. When you're done with your ride, you scan it again, and then you drop the ticket in this little red box. Nice orderly society. And uh, this is also when I take this off. A monument to the Japanese Navy. Look at that, it's so windy up here because this is actually a really nice view. Okinawa was the site of the biggest and the final battle between the U.S. and the Japanese forces. Eventually, the U.S. was victorious and they took Okinawa. The fighting here was brutal, horrific, and it played a big part in influencing the Americans to take the decision to drop the atomic weapons on mainland Japan. A controversial decision. 75 years ago, my grandfather fought here as a U.S. Marine. Ten years ago, my brother, again as a U.S. Marine, was stationed here, and I'm proud of them both. It's interesting, this family connection we have to this one island in Japan. Going down into some World War II tunnels. Look at how small this door is. These actually aren't from bullet holes. These are from a grenade. When the Japanese knew that they were losing the battle, when they were losing Okinawa, the order was given out to commit suicide. Spooku. If they ran out of bullets, they had to use a grenade instead. So these marks are from shrapnel. Here on June 13th, Surrounded by overwhelming American forces, the Imperial Navy forces endured 80 days of bitter fighting, sustaining serious damage and severe casualties. These catacombs are actually massive. It's a little bit weird walking through them by myself, especially with the voices in Chinese. We've escaped the catacombs. The Japanese are frequently in the media for problems like not really apologizing for what they did in World War II, not really making the textbooks as honest as they could be about Japan's role, especially towards the Koreans and the Chinese. And, I mean, it's kind of true. East Asian countries in general are very, very bad at apologizing to each other. It's the whole losing face thing, you know? But what you probably didn't know is that the dominant ideology in Japan now is pacifism. Japanese people don't want to go back to war. They prefer to have a purely defensive military force. And whenever a Japanese politician, like the late Shinzo Abe, for example, tries to expand the role of the Japanese military, protesters come out in force saying that Japan should remain a pacifist nation. They know these past 70, 80 years have been the most prosperous of all of Japan's history. And who would want to go back to the battle days of war? It's really windy out here. I think it's time we call it a day. It's 
been a nice, interesting tour around Okinawa Island. Before I leave Okinawa though, I'm gonna meet up with an old friend. We're gonna do that in the next one. All right, let's get back inside. Too windy out here. Mataya.